Okay, so now I want to start talking about a realm of, of mathematical objects that will follow us not only through, through this class, but any other math class we take. And that is the idea of a function. So what is a function? A function is really just a machine where you sort of input something and then output one particular thing. So you really think of it sort of like input, something happens, and then output. Let me show you a very specific example so we can start to sort of dig right in. This is a function of x, and it's y equals x squared plus 10x plus 25. Now what does it mean to be a function? What it means is all you've got to tell me to find y is what x equals. If you tell me x, then I can go off at a corner, like a little machine, and actually figure out what y is. And what would I do? If you gave me the x, I would just take that value and square it, add it to 10 times the value, and add 25, and that's exactly y. Notice that y only depends upon x, and once you give me x, I can find that one y that's going to actually satisfy this. So you really should think about it like a machine. And in fact, let me actually show you a function type machine. So for example, the way it works is you put something in and something else comes out. So let's say that I want to take a look at this function and see what happens when I plug in x equals 1. So if I plug in x equals 1, what would this equal? In fact, let me just do this on a special paper. I have special paper just for this. x equals 1, then what is y? Wherever I see an x, I put in 1. So 1 squared plus 10 times 1 plus 25. And what does that equal? Well, that equals 1 plus 10 plus 25, which equals 36. So y equals 36 when x equals 1. So the idea is, if you input 1 into this function, out should come 36. Let's try it and see if that's right. So the way this works is, let me show you how this function works. You take 1 and you put it in. Let's see if I can do this now. You put it right in there. And then what happens when I turn it? It goes through the function and out comes, can you see that? 36. You see how it works? Isn't that neat? So that's exactly what's happening here. You put something in and something else comes out. Let's try another example. What if I were to put in x equals 2? What would I see? Well, y would equal 2 squared plus 10 times 2 plus 25. Well, that would be 4 plus 20 plus 25. And that would equal, uh, let's see, 49. So if you input x equals 2, output would be y equals 49. Let's try that and see if this works. This is fun. So I take a 2, and I'm going to input it into here, into the function press. Let's see what happens. Watch it really carefully. There it comes right out. And as it comes out, what do we see? Voila! We see 49, just like we expected. So neat. Now, in fact, you can do this with anything. For example, suppose you take something like this. What if you let x be $5? Doesn't make a difference what you plug in. What would you get out? y would equal, well, I have $5 squared, which is $25, plus, and I'd have 5 times 10, which is $50, plus 25. So that would equal $100. So if this is really correct, I should be able to take a $5 bill and put it in, and let's see what happens. Let's see what happens here. Uh-oh. You see it? This is looking cool, folks. Holy cow, $5 in and a crisp, nice, beautiful $100 comes out. Folks, there's nothing like the smell of money. This illustrates a very important principle, math pays. Anyway, you can now sort of see how these th functions sort of look and how they behave. Now, in fact, there's a way to visualize this thing. If you want to visualize it graphically, what does a function look like? Well, something, a curve is a function if it actually passes the vertical line test. And the vertical line test is just the following. If I put down a vertical line, the vertical line should hit the function at most at one place. And here's why. What it means is for any x value you give me, there'll be at most one y value that'll be associated with that x value. 
So what that means is, if I plug in a number, I get one answer. Look at the following curve. This curve, which I'm showing you right here and making live, is actually not a function. And why is it not a function? Because it fails the vertical line test. There are places on this curve where if I draw a vertical line, you see, it actually crosses the curve in more than one place. And what does that mean in terms of our machine? It means that if I insert that x value, there's not one y value that spits out. In fact, there would be three y values, one over here, one over here, and one over here. So this is not a function, because one x value doesn't give rise to a unique y value. It's only when, for every x value, we spit out one y value do we actually have a function. It's a machine. This machine would get very confused. Even over here, you could see it'd be very confusing. If I put in that x value, where would the function, where would the function spit out? Would it be that value there? Would it be this value? Or would it be this value where the curve crosses the, the vertical line? So this is not a function. A function is something where, no matter what x value you give me, if it's allowable, there'll only be one answer, one output one output. So this is called the vertical line test. You lay a vertical line down, and if the vertical line only touches at at most one point, then you know this is a function. If, in fact, there are places where the vertical line actually touches at more than one point, then you know it's not a function. It's just called a relation because it's not a function because you give me any x value, and in fact, there are more than one y value possibilities. So what does the machine spit out? It's confused. It stops. It halts. So a function is an object where you input one thing and one thing comes out. If many things want to come out, that's not a function, that's merely a relation. So anyway, that's the notion of a function. And now, believe it or not, we're going to do variations on the theme of functions for as long as you can stand it. And I hope that's pretty long. There's a lot of stuff I want to tell you. So functions are great. We'll see graphs of them, equations of them, blah, 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 blah. I'll see you soon. <laughs>